Hello and welcome to another tutorial. My name is Frank Walters and today we're going to teach you how to do a border around a photo, also called a frame. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a very fast tutorial. So come over to the Layers panel, right click on the layer, or if you have an Apple mouse, do the control click, choose duplicate, press C on your keyboard to activate the crop tool. Come up here to the contextual toolbar where it says apply, cancel, mode, unconstrained. Make sure it says unconstrained. If it's not, let's say it's on uh, custom ratio, you just click on this button, choose unconstrained, and it has the dimensions right here and right here. So now these uh, dimensions are in pixels. So we're gonna add 100 pixels to each, the width and the height here. So you could do the uh, the number is in your head if you want, so it's 2020. Or you can do this method, which is press the plus key, plus 100, and then press the return key. Come over to the other one, type the plus key, plus 100, press the return key, and there you go. We now have 100 pixels on the width and the height. I like using the plus 100 and not doing the math because um, it's just easier. You don't have to like think about anything. So come over here to the contextual toolbar and press apply. Now we have this transparent area around our picture. This is going to be our frame. So come over here to the tools and click on the rectangle tool. If you have a different tool active, let's say you have the, I don't know, the donut tool, you would just click and hold until the rectangle tool, until this window comes open again, click on the rectangle tool. And now you want to click and drag a rectangle over the entire image. You want to come over to the layers panel and you want to move the rectangle layer beneath the duplicated background layer. So just do that now. There you go. There's our frame. So to make uh, to look at it without these guides on here, just click one time on the canvas and we're done. So now if you wanted to export this picture, you just come over here to file export and do JPEG and press export and save it wherever you like on your computer. But uh, let me show you how to make a, a double frame. The way you do that is that we have to merge all of our layers together in the layers panel and then do, do the steps all over again. So it's very simple. Click on any layer. Let's click on this layer, the middle layer. It doesn't matter. Right click come down where it says merge visible, click on that. So now all the layers are merged together on this one pixel layer. Uh, so click on the top background layer and hold down the control or the command button and then click on the rectangle layer and the background layer. So what that does is it, it selects these different layers together. So come over here to the trash can and click on that. So now we just have the pixel layer again. Press C on your keyboard to activate the crop tool. Come up here to the contextual toolbar, and again, next to where, the, where it says 2020px, type plus 100, press the return key. Come over to the height, press plus 100, press the return key, that's it. Press the apply button. Again, there's our transparent area again. So now all we have to do is add a rectangle over the entire picture again. Click on the rectangle tool, click and drag over the entire image. And we want to change this rectangle to gray. So come over here to the color studio and click and drag this bottom inner node to gray. And then we're going to come into the layer and click and drag the layer underneath the pixel layer. The reason we chose gray is because if we had kept it at white, right now you, you would just see one big white frame and it's difficult to see. So now let's uh, change the color of the frame to match the sky. So Affinity Photo makes this process super simple. Come over here again to the Color Studio on the Color Picker tool, this uh, eyedropper looking icon here. And you want to click on it and not release your mouse button. Come over to the image to a blue color that you like. It doesn't matter which color you like. I like up here in the dark blue. And then you want to release your mouse button. 
and then come back over here to the colors studio area and click on this little button right here this little blue sky button click on it one time and now we have a double frame around our picture click on the canvas area to make this these guides disappear and there you go we are done again if you want to save it you just come up here to file export here's a preview of what you're going to be sending and you can choose high quality or you can choose best quality one thing to pay attention to when you want to choose a quality level is look here at the estimated file size the best quality is 1.45 megabytes if you change that to high quality it's going to drop down to 301 which is about four or five times smaller in size so whatever you're doing if you're going to email it or save it on your computer and you're concerned about file size i would suggest you always save it as high quality then you come over here to press export press the export button and then you're going to choose where you want to put it let's let's uh, rename ours um double frame vacation photo and then press the return key and we're done all right well, that's it that's how you add a fr one frame the white frame or how you add a double frame around a photo thank you for your attention and have a great day bye